Texas Democrats putting on a big display in D.C., dozens of them descending on the nation's capital, trying to prevent Republicans from passing new voting bills. Here's how some of that went. We started out the special session with promises that there would be compromises, there, there would be changes to the bill. All efforts to make things a little bit better were rejected without question. We are not here smiling. We are not spiking the ball. We are not uh, saying that we are happy. We can't stay here indefinitely to run out the clock to stop Republican anti voter bill. So now today, Fox News contributor Joe Concha, medium columnist for The Hill. How you doing there, Joe? Morning to you. Vice President Harris called it a brave escape. She called it a sacrifice with the charter jets and the beer on the plane. <laughs> what do you call it? Well, it is a sacrifice when you have to drink Miller Lite as an adult. I, I, I could attest to that personally. But from an optic standpoint, this is playing horribly for Texas Democrats, Bill, because the takeaway of the average American that's watching all of this at home, they're seeing a bunch of politicians that abandon their jobs, they jump on a fancy plane, they're positively giddy and taking like 500 selfies while drinking beer, and it looks like they're going to Cancun spring break. They get to D.C., they sing a couple of songs, they get in front of the microphone, but they clearly had no plan to achieve what they wanted in terms of an objective and screaming that the law is Jim Crow 2.0, or that it's a democracy, a uh, threat to our democracy, and, and it's under attack like we haven't seen since the Civil War, that ain't a winning argument. It's unhinged hyperbole, and, and this may play well in certain quarters of other cable news networks, or to the squad wing of the party, or to the Beto wing of the party, but it does not to Texas voters and American voters in general, because the numbers bear repeating. Four in five Americans, that's 80 percent, support showing a photo ID when voting. That's the most recent poll from Gallup, and, and I don't know about you, but I always look at the I tab as an independent when you look at polls, 87% of independents support voter ID. So it's amazing that you have Democrats here that are talking about democracy being under attack due to this voting law while they're openly yearning to blow up the filibuster while actually filibustering, yeah, Bill. That's pretty interesting. Uh, a few things here. Call for number two. We got this meal tweet, right? Have we seen that yet? Gene Wu, my first meal as a fugitive, called it delicious. Uh, that was clever. Uh, you saw the plane smiling selfies on board the plane there a moment ago. The case of beer I mentioned, I, I don't know if that came with a seatbelt or not, but, uh, but it was there. And then a a Washington Post headline inside the secret plan for the Texas Democratic exodus, a phone tree, a scramble to pack, and a politically perilous trip. Joe. Perilous, yes. Again, you saw uh, Democrats uh, in front of a microphone before saying, we are not smiling. Well, it looked like they were smiling there, right? And look, this is a boomerang for Democrats in 2022, Bill, because this panic knows that they know they're about to lose control of the House. The 50-50 Senate could likely be numbered as well, and that could go back to the GOP, because the midterms are going to be about three things, and voter ID ain't one of them, or voter rights uh, in this case. The economy, and particularly inflation, which you just talked about being felt by every American. Skyrocketing violent crime, which we've talked about on this show. It's a crisis Democrats own, despite the gaslight from the press secretary saying that it's Republicans' fault? No, nobody's buying that. And education and critical race theory is going to be huge on the ballot. That, that's also something that Democrats own, and it's polling horribly at this point. Well, but Bill. the special session goes to August 7th. We'll see if they last that long or go beyond that. In the meantime, Dana and I are going to send you a case of Miller Lite. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I demand keep, a keg. Keep it cold. <laughs> see you, Joe. Thanks. Joe Concha. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.